Hi everybody in YouTube land. I need one more drink of coffee. Um, it is uh, dark o'clock. As Lori Mary would say, it's bright and early. It's about I think it's about 5.30 in the morning. And my boyfriend would say, what are you doing up that early? You're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I am. But, um, I've been kind of on a roll with these lately. And, um, got a show coming up in, not this weekend, but next weekend. So, I am working on, um, doing some new projects. This is, uh... 91% uh, alcohol. I look for the highest amount of alcohol I can get. This is a bottle that I got at the dollar store. Score, I know. Um, these bottles will get fairy lights in them when they're done. I ordered the fairy lights off of Amazon. Some should be here today. Um, I'm rubbing this down with alcohol for a couple reasons. One is to prime the bottle for the alcohol inks. It gives it a little bit of a movement to it and it helps to take off the stickers. Um, this, <laughs> that color is actually from my hands because I was working up until I went to bed last night. Uh, I woke up this morning and I'm working again. Um, so I'm taking all the oils off of the bottle and I actually haven't really tried the blending solution on here, but I have a feeling I should try that. Might make complete sense to so give it a little blending solution. Just gives it a little bit, um, extended dry time. It's a similar to alcohol, uh, but it does allow that ink to move. What color do I want to make today? I'm going to do another blue, 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 blue. And that's green. Greens, greens, blue, blue. I'm almost out of my pool. That makes me sad. It's one of my favorite ranger colors. I'm using a mix of two different. This is Jacquard, uh, Pint Pin is it Pinata? Uh, could be pinata color. Um, the Jacquard are actually just as nice as the Ranger. They have very good intense colors. And I'm just putting down a base coat of color here. Oh, that alcohol blending solution just made this all rather sticky already. It's kind of interesting. So since these are going to have, oh, music stopped. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It was annoying anyway. Was a root. Oh, let's see what we got now. This is sailboat. This is a uh, ranger, Tim Holtz sailboat. It's a pretty color. Very blue, blue. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of rhyme or reason on here. I'm just initially just trying to get color down. Although now as I'm playing with this, I realize if I put the darker in here and the lighter colors in there, that would probably look really pretty. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's how you let the um, canvas speak to you, truly. Uh, it's all about listening. Now, I'm not really squeezing this bottle. This is just what comes out of here um, by natural force. Because I don't want a ton of overage. And this takes up enough ink as it is. I don't need to waste more than I have to. So, since this is a darker blue, This is this is uh, just a YouTube channel of free music here, so we'll have to see what happens with it. Okay. 
So just trying to make sure I've got everything covered. This is not rocket science. I don't know what it's going to turn out to look like. Oops. But now I'm filling in. Okay, so... <sighs> Might be a little too early to be doing so much talking. <laughs> could, it could be. It could be. It's too early to talk. Alright. I'm just going to mix those two colors up, although, um, you know, it takes away from the alcohol inkiness of it. I'm just covering it. I wouldn't suggest doing this. I would suggest um, protecting your hands with gloves, and I should go find my gloves, but now there's no reason to because I just got my hands completely and totally filthy. But I have this alcohol right here. Oh, yuck. 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 Okay. I love the blue. It's a very pretty blue. I'm going to add, um, this is pool. Let's see what the pool. Oh. Kind of like having the lighter colors up top, the darker colors down at the bottom. I'm just dripping it on here. Oh! There's really no easy way to work this or to show you this. I'm trying. I'm trying to show you this process, guys. Don't give me crap for trying to show you a process and then having the video not be perfect. <laughs> there's, no, there's no perfection with this. And there's no plan. I have no plan. I'm taking colors that I know look pretty together. Well, this is the Pinata Baja Blue again. All right. Flame. Don't do this. Don't do this at home. I am not recommending that you do this. By any means. Do not do this at home. Do not inhale this smoke. Do not. Do not. Okay, did everybody understand that I am not recommending this? But it does kind of make a cool effect. And that's why I like to do it. Um, be really, do be super careful when you do that though. If you decide to light your alcohol ink on fire, realize that all of this is alcohol. All of this will start to go onto fire. It just will. Um, so just be careful. If you have a big puddle, don't use fire. And probably best to be in a ventilated place and not make yourself into a smurf. Smurf! Alright, coffee. Okay, so I want to do an ombre effect with this guy, I think. Do I already have stream on here? I don't think I realized I had a second stream. Yay! Uh, this stream is a ranger color. It's a little bit greener. actually a very pretty color. And I am letting the shape of this bottle dictate where I put the color. Ish. Because as you know, there's this is not exact. This should not be exact. This should just be as pretty as I can possibly make it so that people buy it for $27. Or two for 50 I'm trying to create something that people will buy. And yep, that is important to me because I want to make money doing art. I have 
24 test bottles to see how this works. I will be putting it out in my show in two weeks. Uh, how did I end up getting really annoying music again? This is supposed to be the calm music. There is no way to absolutely control alcohol ink. That is not the type of medium it is. If you expect to control it, don't. You're just gonna, you know, if you're too type A, this is not gonna make you happy. Because you can get something really beautiful down and then put something over the top of it and it's gone. So it's not an easy, friendly, forgiving medium. And actually it is, but the thing that it does is um, it disappears. It's not a permanent uh, medium until you make it permanent. Now, that is actually going to end up being beautiful, because I know that it will. Okay, it's a very blue jar. See, where you fired it, it reacts differently. The alcohol does not do the same thing as it always does. This is alcohol in a spray bottle. And what that gives us, uh, so that film is from the fire. Um, which, once I put the glossy over the top of it, it will um, take that away. I'll turn glossy again. Okay. So I'm, this actually dries it so that when the next, you know, it's not just going completely wet over wet. Ugh. If you do wet over wet with alcohol ink, it just all disappears. You gotta trust me on that. You know, like so here this has a big bunch of paint. I don't really love the, the black stuff. I guess it's ink, not paint. So I'm just smoothing that out a little. Blending all those colors together. Realize that you add alcohol to this, you're gonna blend all the colors. nature but what it's also doing it's also taking off all the paint up on this upper part <laughs> not what we want to do it means it's actually taking off the paint on the lower part ink 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 all right so I want to create Oh, an ombre effect again. Um, yeah, let's try this black. This is um, Mantilla Black Pinata Jacquard. I haven't worked with the black yet, so this is a new experiment for me too. Those fairy lights will be in there. And the question is, is the black super opaque or is it going to be transparent like the other colors? It looks like it's actually very opaque. And in that case, we really wanna be cautious with where we put it. 
But if we know that that's a property of it, then we can use that to our benefit. So the way to tell, when you hold it up to the light, there's not much shining through on that black. Okay, so we're not going to use much more of that. It's a very, um, looks like it's an opaque color. I like it for down here at the bottom though, so I think that works just fine. It's a frame on the bottle. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually run this down the center spots, create more interest. This black is going to get everywhere, I can just tell. So my hand, of course, as I'm holding the bottle, is rubbing off ink up top. True fact. Ah, this is the passion purple. I like this color. Um, again, it's a very, very dark color, but it's a lot more opaque, uh, a lot more transparent than that black. I kind of like having a little bit of that blue showing underneath, so I'm uh, just going to paint it in there. It's pretty and 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 I'm actually gonna put some of this uh, Signora Magenta in the little top part because I can. Why? Because this is my universe. Uh, nobody else could understand this universe. All right, there's a lot of paint in there. Let's pull some of that off. This one drips more. Well, maybe it's okay to let that go down. Okay, okay. it wants to go down, folks. Let go down. It's alcohol ink. There's it's not perfect. I keep ending up with uh, purple ones instead of blue ones. Can't help it. I like it. Okay, this does dry that ink up quickly. It um, gives it a little foam. Makes the ink move. Um, I think I'm going to take a little more blue. Actually, what I could take is white. I could 
take the white down into here. Let me see. So I'm trying to see how much light will come through this as it is. And I think actually probably just going with the blue. In here. So properties of alcohol ink. It will push these other colors out of the way. Hopefully. Or it'll blend it all together. So let's just fire that so that it doesn't move these stuff too quickly. Do not use fire at home. Use it in a well ventilated area. Do not do like I do. Wait, I was using stream. Remember what colors you're using. I do not recommend this. I'm only showing you my process. Okay. Is everybody hearing that warning? I am not recommending this. If you burn your house down or your studio down, it is completely your fault. And trust me, the first time I used fire on alcohol, I almost burnt my house down. I really did. It's actually not an exaggeration. I was like, oh no! Not good! I got it out. But the only reason I got it out is because alcohol burns off really quickly. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. did that one. Okay, this one's almost complete. Um, now, things that this will need are, um, God, three coats of each. Um, a varnish, a gloss, and a UV protect. I don't know if I'll be doing three of each. Um, that is the recommendation. Um, I don't think I will end up doing that much. Uh, for one, I don't have that much spray varnish. Uh, for two, I don't have an hour to wait for each one to dry. I don't have a studio space, so I'll be doing it outside and that is not always conducive to, um, you know, letting things dry at the rate that they should be able to dry. Okay, I'm just doing a little last little prettiness in here. You know, be careful if you're not setting your hands on fire. Oh, the inside of the bottle being hot. Okay, so I don't know what that's going to look like until I get the lights in there. And actually, I love doing this little spray effect on it because then it gives us more little dots and bobbles and interest. So what the spray alcohol does let me show you on a white one I know that it's creating those types of looks it's a spray and a smudge and a spray and a smudge 
And uh, so once the light comes through this, it should have a, a very interesting texture to it. And I like texture. And I like to exaggerate the texture. Okay, so the black is very, very uh, opaque, non-transparent. Okay, interesting. Okay, one thing I do want to do is just do one more little run and stream along this. I can see that the magenta had gone up. Oh, see, but now I'm getting stream into the magenta. Stop it, you booger. doing is just doing this. But that never feels very secure. I'm just defining this ridge. Your fingers take off the paint off the bottom, okay? It really does. So your fingers stick and it removes the ink. So we're gonna set that to the side. And I think it'll actually be very beautiful with lights in it. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to hold it up to the light here to see what it will look like. If it doesn't look good, well, then I will um, change it. Change it. All right, everybody, that was my first bottle. I'm going to turn off the light, the camera, so that uh, this doesn't get to be five million feet long. Minutes long. <laughs> it's early. Give me a break. All right, guys. I'll chat with you soon. All right. Take her easy. Bye.